Hello and welcome to another video review. Most people don't have the time to dedicate to reading countless reviews. That's where we come in. We spent weeks researching the most popular products of this year. In doing so, we read hundreds of reviews and consulted with experts. Working alongside the most knowledgeable people in the industry, we rated each piece of equipment based on its selection of features, ease of use, value for the money, and the reputation of its manufacturer. Let's take a look at the products that impressed us the most. Hey, Joe Brown Tool Guy here. This is an installation video for a Deco chain drive garage door opener, half horsepower or three quarter. Should lay all the parts out in front of you, make sure you have them all per the instruction manual. First step is to assemble the five section rail. Three of the pieces are the same. The piece with the slot goes towards the front or the garage door when you put it up and there's a little button in the back that slides into the unit head. Next step is to slide the carriage over the rail as shown here. You slip the cable through, line up the wheel and put a pin through with a cotter pin. Very simple. Next you take the chain out of the box and connect it to the carriage. Now you put the rail into the head. You might need a, a rubber mallet to tap it in, but it goes in pretty easily. Next you wrap the chain around the sprocket and the drive head. The chain is marked with red. That should line up with the cord. Then connect the chain link to the cable. It just snaps on. may need a pliers for that. Using the adjustment on the carriage, you adjust the chain so it's taunt, then cover the drive head sprocket with the cover. Next, we have to figure out where to mount the garage door. It should be centered on the door, and the bracket lines up two inches above the highest point, arcing point of the garage door. So you can lay a level, make a mark, I've done here and then mark two inches up from there. Mark the holes in the bracket. Pre-drill the holes. You should have a solid board. You can't put that into sheetrock for example. The holes in the brackets go up. Next you take the assembled garage door unit, mount it through the hole using the pin and cotter key. You should set up the garage door opener so it's level back to where the head is going to mount. Next you mount the brackets to the door or the drive arms top and bottom. Once they're connected to both pieces that's how you adjust your length. Slide the bolts in and tighten those up. You need to have the release cord tied on with the handle in case of emergencies. Install the light bulb and slide on the cover. Next we have to mount the safety sensors. They're mounted on both sides of the door. These are mounted six inches above the garage floor. Then we install the three function wall button. Run the wires to the unit from the sensors and the wall button. Connect those per the wiring instructions. 
The three function wall button turns the light on, closes and opens the garage door and locks the unit. That completes the installation. Thanks for watching. What's quieter than a Genie Belt Drive garage door opener? Nope. Afraid not. Uh-uh. Not even that. Fact is, Genie Belt Drive openers are as quiet as they are fast and powerful. Ultra quiet. Because there are just so many things you'd rather hear around your house. Or not hear. Genie Belt Drives are simply the quietest garage door openers for their power rating you can buy. No matter how large or heavy the door, High-power DC motors with GenieSense technology actually sense how much lifting power is needed and apply it smoothly every time. Lifting power that flows directly to Genie's smooth-running, super-quiet belt drive system. How quiet? Check it out! Genie belt drive openers are designed end-to-end -end for reliability and years of trouble-free service. Installation? Just as trouble-free. Packaging is color-coded to match instruction steps, and installation videos are always ready at GenieCompany.com. All Genie openers include remotes that are factory programmed and ready to use right out of the box. IntelliCode encryption provides state-of-the-art security every time you push the button, and Genie Safety Beam meets or exceeds all regulations for door safety. For ultimate convenience and security, add Aladdin Connect to monitor and control your garage door from your mobile device no matter where you are. And with Genie LED bulbs, another Genie exclusive, you'll get incredible durability, 25,000 hour life, plus no significant interference between remotes and opener, like most ordinary LEDs. Thank you for choosing Chamberlain. This video is intended to help you understand why your garage door won't fully open. This video is intended for demonstration purposes only. Please consult your owner's manual for complete instructions and safety information. Your garage door opener is designed to stop if it senses resistance or an obstruction while opening. First, close the door using your remote control or the door control. To disconnect the garage door from the garage door opener, pull the emergency release handle straight down. Now slowly open the door by hand, checking to see if you feel any resistance or obstructions. Examine the jams, track, and rollers. Pay special attention to the area where the door is stopping. If the door is sticking or binding, correct the issue or call a trained door technician. To reconnect the garage door opener, manually close the garage door, 
pull the red handle on the emergency release back towards the garage door opener. The trolley should reconnect. Using your remote, check to see if the door will open. If your door still will not open all the way and your garage door opener has manual force adjustments, try increasing the open force slightly. Now try opening the door again using your remote control. If your door still does not fully open but opens at least 5 feet, you may need to increase your travel limits. Open the door with your remote control or door control. After any adjustments are made, the safety reversal system must be tested. The door must reverse on contact with a 1.5 inch high object or a 2x4 laid flat. If your door still does not open fully, contact a trained door technician.